Hello, movie fans. Today, I will explain a 1978 historical drama film called, Pretty Baby. Let's jump to the explanation. The girl grew up in a brothel. She is, therefore more feminine and mature than the usual girl her age at 12 years old. However, this disposition makes her more susceptible to manipulation than it does to giving her additional liberties. Her mother gave birth to a second brother on that day. Violet was a bit overwhelmed as she stared at her mother's hurt face lying on the bed, but she was mostly thrilled. She was spreading the information that, it's a boy, in the brothel like a joyous bird. However, when everyone heard it, they all wore guilty expressions. After all, a female is more valuable at a brothel than a boy who doesn't speak the same language as Violet. She waits patiently for the day when she will be an adult as she sleeps quietly under the piano and observes the men and women around her engage in sexual activity. For the following few days, Violet assumed responsibility for caring for her brother. Her mother didn't appear to be pleased, though. She regularly reprimanded Violet for interrupting her sleep. However, Violet's purity is not concealed by the filthy brothel. She is interested in everything going on around her. One day, at midday, a different sort of client arrived at the brothel. He goes as Bellic and is a downhearted photographer. He wanted to come here and shoot photographs of the prostitutes in order to gain attention because he had never established himself. At first, the pimp wasn't in agreement. She believed that having more customers would be better for the prostitutes than having them take photos. But as soon as it came to money, she changed her mind. She set up Violet's mother to accompany him. Cameras are uncommon in brothels. Violet continued mentioning how she wished she could participate as she watched with interest. Bellic was even considered a magician in her eyes. Due to the wonder of photography, before the filming was through, John followed him down, yelling and insisting that Violet's mother keep serving him. He concluded by forcibly removing the emerald earrings he had previously given away. Of course, Violet's mom did not want to. The outcome was a farce. Violet observed this with a smile on her face, but she made no attempt to assist her mother because she was accustomed to seeing situations like this. Bellic delivered the pictures a few days later. In his photographs, the ladies did not appear to be prostitutes. Rather, they radiated grace and humility. In Bellic's view, Violet now understood the world more fully. Bellic's frequent visits to the brothel and the fact that he never had sex with a prostitute as other men did startled Violet. Violet began to make fun of Bellic like a pimp when she noticed he didn't respond, calling him a pathetic sissy and losing out on life's joys. When asked the same questions repeatedly, Bellic was clearly irritated. He's not required to give a youngster an account of his personal life, after all. He had an uncaring attitude, which upset Violet. When others treated her like a child, it was what she detested the most. In light of this, she anticipated the day she would truly mature. However, she had not anticipated having her bar mitzvah in this manner. The young woman had her first night out in public and was dressed in a white robe like a saint. A middle-aged guy eventually won Violet's virginity at auction for $400. She kept making fun of the man, imitating other prostitutes. Violet was still a child even if she tried to appear older. She was still terrified as she faced the approaching man. Violet afterwards sobbed and giggled as the audience teased her. She came to the conclusion that the adult world was not as lovely as she had envisioned. After that, Violet started working as a prostitute at a brothel. She started to accept males more and more easily, chatting seductively while perched on their laps. But on the other hand, the photographic work of Bellic is ongoing. He is mesmerized by the contours of women's bodies in the sunshine. He simply has an appreciation for art. There is no sign of humor. Curiosity caused Violet to touch Bellic's negative, almost resulting in the exposure and destruction of the image. When Bellic saw it, he struck her severely. Violet wept and sprinted to bed. As soon as Bellic noticed this and understood that he had gone too far, he consoled the woman. The fact that Bellic only liked her mother and did not like Violet was what Violet cared about, not the fact that he smacked her. In reality, Violet is only aware of Bellic's differences from other males as a young child, and she has no concept of what love is. Bellic refused to give her a free hand, 
The major issue is just that. If she has never experienced true love, how can she have the capacity to love someone? Her mother made a startling surprise that day after lunch. In order to leave the brothel, she was getting married. This is likely the most satisfying conclusion that a prostitute could hope for. She only brought her little boy with her, hiding Violet's presence in order to keep the marriage intact. Violet has been without her sole support ever since. She just had Bellic to turn to all the time. One day, a group of individuals was playing hide and seek within the residence. Violet deceitfully diverted attention away from the others and snuck to Bellic's cover. The girl embraced the man's shoulders and gave him a passionate kiss. Although he remained silent, he was ecstatic. He was in love with a 14-year-old girl, but he didn't want to and didn't want to admit it. Bellic was constrained by his emotions and started to worry about the girl's future. Violet also acted in the same way. When she welcomed other clients, she constantly kept an eye on him. However, Violet is still a young child, and because of her impulsivity, she frequently makes errors. She was once more locked in the darkroom by the biddy on this day for infractions. She received brutal beatings. In a fit of wrath, Violet stormed out of the brothel, carrying her bags with her. With no relatives to turn to, she used her address book to find Bellick's home and made the request to move in. Bellick didn't complain and kept Violet for a time because he was already in love with her. Violet toured each room that night as if she were an adult. She then said with delight, I like it here, to Bellick. She yearned to adore him and be completely with him. Bellick was initially apprehensive, but he ultimately could not resist the need to encircle her in his arms, and they subsequently started dating despite having an age difference. Bellick adores Violet's purity and romanticism, and he frequently buys her toys to make her happy. He viewed Violet as his creative girlfriend and took a lot of gorgeous images of her. Life was first very nice for them, but as time went on, it was clear that their age gap was causing them to clash. Violet is quite protective when it comes to love. Bellic loved photography, but she couldn't comprehend it, and out of curiosity, she frequently wrecked his gear. Additionally, according to Bellic, love is never more vital than art. Following another of her whims, he, therefore, ejected Violet from the residence. Violet visits the brothel once more since she has nowhere else to go. She observes a protest later, though. In opposition to the red light area, many were carrying torches. It had to entirely shut down because of this. It is her only option to get her bags back to the streets. After hearing the news, Bellic showed up. Outside, he asked Violet to marry him. Bellic and Violet were legally wed after Violet gladly accepted his proposal. But she was too busy to take the opportunity to relish the pleasure of her new marriage. Unexpectedly, a guest shows up. It is Violet's mom. Violet was accepted as his stepdaughter when she persuaded her husband to accept her. She is in the room with her kid, preparing to go. Bellic naturally has no desire to as a result of the fact that he was already in love with this passionate and naive girl. Bellic, though, was taken aback when Violet asked him obliviously why he couldn't accompany her on her escape. Even though she was the most brilliant firework he had ever seen, he could only watch her way of life from a distance, so he ultimately decided to let go. People were moving through the terminal in large groups as they made their way to different destinations. They were captured in a photo by Violet's stepfather, who was excitedly using a new camera. Violet softly focuses her gaze on the camera. She didn't appear joyful or dejected. Violet has been living in the notorious red light district since the day she was born. Therefore, she is about to embark on a brand new chapter in her life. For this 12-year-old girl, the fickleness of human nature and the trade in eroticism were just a part of everyday life. She mimicked the accents and behaviors of people around her out of her yearning for the adult world. But when she actually did what she had intended, she discovered how terrible adult wants were. She retains her purity even in such a society. Every now and again, her almost numb face flashes a beautiful, innocent grin. She loves Bellic, but in my opinion, that affection is more analogous to a child's reliance on its parents. Violet doesn't see the difference between Bellic's concern for her and the love a man and a woman have because she doesn't know the difference between the two. Also certain to fail are the initial stages of such an illegal love affair. The beautiful movie ends here.
I want to make clear that this film is based on actual first-person accounts of a prostitute who was interviewed for Al Rose's seminal work on the topic, Storyville, which was released many years ago. E. J. Bellick, the photographer who immortalized the photographs of the young prostitutes of Storyville on glass plates, was a genuine person, as everyone who is familiar with the time period is aware. The choice of Mal to cast young Brooke Shields and the stunning Susan Sarandon as mother and daughter prostitutes was a brilliant one. These photos are hauntingly gorgeous in and of themselves. If you like this, please subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.